Girls, congratulations. Fantastic performance, Sarah. What was it like to be Ulster minor champions? Uh, it's a pretty good feeling. Like, amazing. <laughs> amazing feeling coming off the back of the down senior and then the down minor straight away. It kind of seemed a bit surreal to think mm-hmm. into Ulster, but... You know, we put yeah. in the work and we prepared and we got the result. <laughs> yeah, it's a nice day now. <laughs> it is a nice day. It's, it's also an historic day. Yeah, this is the first time the club have ever won a Division 1 Ulster Championship, so hopefully this will... Jerry kept talking about yeah. breaking down the door, so hopefully now this will open the way for other teams to follow in our footsteps. You didn't just break down the door, you knocked it down, you, you bust through it and won the, won the game well, Leisha. Yeah, well, I mean, everyone was taking their points. It was a bit at the start where we were behind, but we managed to pull it back. I think me and Orla got a goal, two goals just before the end, and from that, from there on, we just managed to get the scores. Leisha was just unbelievable. Like, literally any passage of play that you thought, oh God, like they've got it. Suddenly Leisha comes out of nowhere, intercepts the ball, makes a brilliant tackle, just turns the game around. All of a sudden you're on the back foot. Leisha just comes out of nowhere with this engine that just doesn't seem to give out. Like, she's just unbelievable. Like every every minute of the game, she just gives every single part of herself. Like she just gives it everything, leaves it on the pitch. Jerry Rogers winning. Ulster manager, you won down, you've won Ulster. That's an incredible achievement today. That's an incredible achievement, Jerome. Uh, we set out nine, ten weeks ago before the down final, not expecting even to win the down final. Uh, once we got past that, which was a one point win in itself, was a great achievement. We were drawn against Clanner in a way, and that was, that was a hard draw, to put it mildly. I uh, went down there and uh, won by a point after extra time. Great game, great character building game. Uh, we in the semi final. Yeah, we got over the line okay there, but again, it was a tough test today. So these girls, have, every time they've been asked the question, they've answered the question. Right, that's the game. What about the achievement here today? Breda from South Belfast, as you well know, we don't have a pitch of our own to come through and to be Ulster champions. Can you put that into some sort of context for me? Jerome, you know, it's, it's quite staggering, uh, to be honest, for this club has come from over the last number of years, but, but it hasn't just happened. I mean, the, the amount of work, uh, the amount of training, the amount of coaching has gone into these guys from under 8s, 10s, 12s, 14s. Uh, right through up to minor level is quite staggering. So, you know, you put the work in, it comes out, and this is real proof of the effort being put in in Briga. A lot of clubs put in that effort, but a lot of them have pitches, they have places to go. Is it extra hard? Yeah, it's extra hard. I mean, we, we, we train, I mean, we, we're train at Cherryville, uh, it's a council facility, so we're not in control of, of, of usage. So we train in many different places, but uh, that sort of helps, you know, it's character building. We, we, we face all obstacles and we go and train night or day, wherever we can train, you know. This year, for instance, the last few weeks, we could only get a 3G at 9 o'clock at night, but they all turned up. British just, we've become such a community over the last few years and, you know, getting the hall and starting the renovations mm-hmm. in the hall is really bringing us all together. And it was something like this today that was needed just to kind of bring the club together. And I think it was actually really good that it was actually a, a ladies team mm-hmm. that was the thing that really the club started rallying around. You know, it made everyone realise that every code in the club, no matter what the age group, is vital to the performance of the entire club. What does ladies Gaelic football mean to you in your young life? Everything. <laughs> I mean, I'm training non-stop, what, like three or four <laughs> times a week and with games and stuff. So it's good that you put in the work and you get the result. Girls you know, just love playing sport. They just love playing football. I mean, we have a panel of 30-odd girls. They all turn up. I mean, I think you may probably be aware of some of the girls. I mean, Ethan McAlfo, for instance, supposed to be in Barcelona today. She stayed. You know, and, and that's, that's the commitment of these girls, as indeed was during the semi-final and final. Tremendous commitment, tremendous team spirit, and just that will to be together and to play together and train together and, and, and hopefully win together. And that's what's sort of happening at the moment, you know. And finally, you have to say a few words about your management team. What have they been like this year? You said something in your speech there. They uh, been treating you a bit hard, Ella. <laughs> yeah, they're all right. They, uh, yeah, they were just determined. I think at the start they had so much confidence in us that they. They knew probably before we even did that we had a real shot in this competition. Like we had no experience of Ulster and we were coming up against teams like in the semi final that were this their fourth year in a row and we were playing defending champions and they just had this mentality of nothing was getting left behind. We were just training like like nearly every other day we were out training, we were constantly together and like I said to the girls in the changing room, like there's seven groups of sisters on this team and out here, like you did realise, there was just such a unity in the team. Family, like, we're a family. You, you know what someone's going to do before they even they do it, and it's just you know training constantly does that for you. Mm-hmm. Can you believe 
you're in ladies football and you're so close to this bunch of girls from your own background in Bally Martin and men's football years ago when ladies football maybe wasn't that much but ladies football now is such a big part of your life well ladies football yeah I think it's, you have two, two daughters your own that's what happens you invariably get involved and I have two, two sons as well they're also involved in football and Breda but with the daughters it's infectious you know you look at it and you just try to help them over the line and that's, that's what we've been trying to do and we've got there